Welcome everyone to Inside Gyros. Uh, today we have a super special episode. Uh, we're going to do some maneuvers that looks really nice. Uh, fortunately the weather this week has been a little bit crazy. I don't know if you can see it's still rainy and a little bit cloudy. Uh, visibility and ceiling is fine as a, for a BFR flight. Uh, we are good to go. Um, the idea today is to shows the difference between the fixed wing maneuvers because the in the FAA the the maneuvers the the, the, the required maneuvers are based on a fixed wing uh, theory but for a gyroplane you can do a lot of things and you can do the turns around the point even in a coin and even in a in a, in a really short short uh, distance and short radios the square for example the square figure for example you can use the pedals and you can just pivot your cabin and keep it. So today is really cool because there is windy, it is bumpy, uh, there is rain in the area. That's one of the reasons it's no problem to fly in a close cockpit like this. It's very comfortable to fly. So join us today for a nice maneuvers. We're going to do ground reference maneuvers. I'm going to show you some tips. Again, before we start, do not try this at home, do not try this alone, do not use these videos as a main source of training. Do not do that. Um, please contact your local CFI, contact the PRA, the Popular Rotorcraft Association for more information. Uh, a special thanks to Mike Smith on the PRA, uh, Richard Young on the, on the Roku channel, he's um, doing amazing things. Uh, just check it again, it's the aircraft testing and aircraft training. Uh, Brett Drake, also Sheriff, thanks so much for your likes, for everything you're doing in the PRA down in Texas. So join us for some maneuvers. We're going to find a nice place um, and we're going to start with the squares. Squares figure, turns around the point, some S and the high rate descents. Some tips that I know, some things that we can do. We're going to use a lot of the pedals. We have a huge, we have massive authority on these pedals. So we're going to have a lot of fun. Remember, be safe, prepare your maneuvers, talk to your CFI, and let's do it. All right. So the first maneuver we're going we're gonna to perform is going to be the, the squares maneuver. All right. It's really important the area you're gonna choose for the for this maneuver. Do not go on top of cities. Do not go on top of public areas. Do not go on top of uh, stadiums. Or please try to find the most desert area in case something happens. Second, the FAA requires the um, six uh, the, the 600 1,000 feet tolerance. As high as you are, as better as it is. Make a lot of space between you and the ground. Sometimes in the gyroplane when you make steep banks and when you do maneuvers and when, you, when you're going to do the high rate descents power off, um, the inertia in the, in the go down or when you start turning, it tends to sink. Uh, if you have a downdraft or you don't have enough power, you're going to lose some altitude. So the distance between your airplane and the, air, and, and the ground they give you enough space meanwhile you start training and you just keep it completely flat all right so let's start with the squares that is the basic one it's very easy one so i found a really nice area outside of the um, of the city of the public area and the ground points that you can find the points on the ground you just use it as a checkpoint so you make a square a couple miles a square that you can fly around and also if you have a GPS with tracking, they will help you a lot to do the same and to keep the same points on the, on, on the turn. Use uh, um, intersections on the roads as a turning point. In the United States in general, all the grid, all the, the house grid and all the roads grid is, is really well done. Uh, so you can use that, it's just really helpful. So couple tips it will be difficult to notice the, the, the maneuver on the on the camera but I will show you some some a couple of tips that I use a couple of techniques that I use the first technique is the standard technique maintaining and standard turn 
with the with the turn coordinator and and your and your ski ball in the center. So you start like very gentle, very gentle checking where is your wind, and you then if the wind is from the back, from the left, in, starting your turn, you will need to use kind of counter measure. So you use a little bit of left pedal in this case for a right turn. We clear the area first, left pedal and right command. So you start like slipping a little bit, keep it in the center, and then you just control and find your second target. You just point your nose to the second target. That's very important. Pointing the nose to the second target. As soon as you point the nose to the second target, you just keep it straight and try to keep in the nose windows, if you have nose windows. If you don't, you can use the side, but it's sometimes a little bit complicated. The nose windows are a wonderful tool for this kind of maneuver. So you use those windows and you keep your road in the middle. And closer, getting close to the to, to the second checkpoint to do the, 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 the next 90 degrees turn. So you check the area, you clear there is no traffic, and then you start turning. The second, the, the second um, technique that you can use is just relate on the pedals. Remember, you're in a gyroplane. You're flying with an umbrella. So you just relay on the, on, the, on the pedals. You start turning, as I'm doing right now, and just keep it in the back. There we go, very good. And just keep it flat. And you make a 90 degree turn, completely 90 degree turn with just your pedals. Use your pedals, they're a really good tool to use. So you just pivot, keeping the cabin flat with the controls. There we go, just keep a little bit. And then you go to the third waypoint. So every corner will be a waypoint, all right? So practice that, practice that a lot with the pedals, just using the pedals, let's do it on top of here. For example, I use my, 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 my ground reference and let's do it again. Just clear the area for the turn, there is no one around and you just use your pedals, use your pedal. You reduce a little bit the speed. The speed is also a, a key part in this. If you're too fast, you, you tend to overshoot on the turn. But if you see, just using the pedals, well, in these models, in the AG915 and in these models, uh, you have dual boom. So there is tons of authority that it helps you a lot if you want to just, you know, have fun with this kind of 90 degrees or 360 maneuvers. All right? So before you enter to the torn, it's also really good to reduce a little bit the speed and let the machine sink a little bit, getting some inertia and getting to the torn if you want to do the standard, the standard way to the, to the torn. If you're doing it with pedals, only with pedals, only with the jaw, you will need a little bit of punch to get more authority. So the propeller will push more authority, give you more authority, and remember, you, you will do this. <laughs> you just pivot the aircraft. If you want to pivot to the to the left, you just pivot and just do a countermeasure a little bit with your controls without, uh, without losing altitude. And you start like, there we go. I think in this camera will be better to to, to appreciate that you're actually just moving, not uh, displacing too much, just not moving too much, and you just start getting your, your turns, all right? For the turns around the point, it's always important to find a target in the ground. That will be your, your pivot point, your center. Uh, this is a funny maneuver in a gyroplane, because normally you perform it, you try to perform it like a fixed wind. The guys who fly also fixed wind, they will understand my point. But in a gyroplane, if you have a lot of uh, tailwind, like in this time, like in this moment, there is a, uh, like a s some rain in the back, and it's, it's kind of not storm, but the the, the cell of the of the rain there is pushing me out. So you have to you have to skip a little bit, so you feel like 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 it's flying literally with an umbrella. And let's say I, I have this a uh, uh, complex in the ground one mile, so you start like turning very gentle. And my trick, that is a, is, is a popular trick, and if you don't know, it's good. If you know, okay, it's perfect also, is to get four waypoints, checkpoints. Get four checkpoints and the same distance radius. So you start flying one to one, and you understand if you're getting in or you're getting out. If the wind is getting too much, so you start making more, you make more step banks a little bit and you help yourself with the pedals. If you put too much pedal, then you start getting inside of the circle. So it's better just to be a little bit outside of the of, of the turn. One mile is what I recommend, one mile waypoint. So you fly waypoint to waypoint to waypoint until you start perfecting your 
your circle around, all right? Um, there is no clear technique, there is no tricky technique in this. You just let it turn. These machines are like super stable. So you just leave it, leave it in a turn and it just keep, it stay there. It's not moving anywhere. So that's pretty easy to do the turns around the point. You only have to correct. Now the wind is getting me a little bit from, from the right. So what I do is just to remove the skid, put the ball in the middle again, and sometimes you start like, when you, when you need to turn to the left, you start, you start moving in this direction and then whoop, and goes back. So being a little bit upset of the circle when the wind is coming, so if the wind is coming in this direction, you'll be upset in the area of the wind. And, and that will give you a really nice maneuver. You will paint a really nice maneuver on your GPS. High rate descents, power off. It's a tricky maneuver. It's a very important maneuver because you understand how the machine will behave when it's sinking completely. Important to understand the RPMs of the rotor. Remember, in a gyroplane, you, f you fly because of the gravity, because of the mass. The mass that is pulling the aircraft down in a kite way, you know, in this is, is, is what is making you fly. So as soon as you start going down, this power going down, this this pulling going down and start reducing, so your rotor get unloaded, a little bit unloaded, a little bit unloaded. So it's very important you monitor all the time if you're light, like I am right now with half tanks, plus the ballast, plus myself, that I'm a solid 170 pounds, really solid. Um, you need to be careful with your RPMs. So if you are with your flight instructor, it will be fine because it gives you enough mass to keep the rotor loaded. So be careful when you're flying solo, when you're, when you're not load, it's, it's really important to keep, it, to, to keep an eye on the, on the RPMs on these kind of low speed maneuvers, all right? So keep an eye on that. All right, so how we perform the maneuver? So first of all, we clear the area. That's the first thing you have to do. Remember, there is a lot of things flying. There is more people around. I have seen a lot of movies. There is a lot of things flying in this country, so you should be careful. This is also very important, or it will be very good if you find, if, you're, if you will headwind. If your headwind will help you a lot just to maintain. You can do the maneuver in tailwind, but you will sink more faster and the recovery maneuver will take a little bit more of power. And there is like a hundred feet recovery after the inertia. Like when you're recovering, there's going to keep sinking until, um, until the rotor keep up and goes up. So you have to be careful, that's because it's better to do it high. Make a lot of space between you and the ground. Do not, you don't want to be really close to the ground. So I'm going to find the wind. I think the wind is coming right now from the back because I feel the machine a little bit sinking. So let's make a 180 really close here. There we go. There we go. That's a nice 180 turn. And we start gently, gently, we're going to start gently removing the power. We have enough altitude, we cleared the area, there is some rain, there is no big deal, and we're going to start removing the power. Keeping the machine, the machine as flat as we can and, and pulling the stick back. So we're removing the speed, we're removing the speed. And we keep the machine going down. Alright, again, keep an eye on your, on your RPMs. If, for, if the RPMs start reducing too fast on the, on the sinking, you just load the rotor a little bit, you just put the nose down or put some power and keep up again, all right? All right, 30 knots, 20 knots. All right, now we are in, in high rate descent, no power, and the idea is to reach the 5.5 five with the zero, zero speed, and still we have some headwind. All right, we're gonna recover, how recover? We lower the nose, and we apply power, very gentle, very gentle. We have the hundred. There we go. And we are again on the, we are again on business. You see, very simple. We lost 500 feet. We lost 500 feet, very quick, very quick. You can perform the maneuver close to the runway if you're if you're coming really high. You just cut, start sinking. But remember, you will need 500 feet from the ground to recover and to be able to do a real maneuver. If you want to do it like in, a, in an emergency, if you lost your engine or something and you want to, you, you find a target and you need to start going down, you need to practice first a lot. 
it's not as easy as it looks it's better to practice a lot this going down recover and you, you will feel the machine because as soon as you recover she tends to sink she, she will tend to sink so it's better to keep it all the time as as far from the ground at the beginning all right all right so as a summary you can use the pedals in the turns to use your corners your 90 degree corners you see you can just perfectly use your pedals, you use full pedals and you see you're just moving around 90 degrees. The turns around the point make it one mile high, one mile high. Remember you're flying with an umbrella. So the moment when the wind is bl with the, the points with the wind is say, in, in the circle, if the wind is, is coming from, from this direction, you should overshoot a little bit more and the points that you are against the wind, you can go a little bit in. And you can also use your, your pedals just to drift a little bit on the turns and then you just you know put the machine inside um, I want to take this moment also to thank everybody for the good comments for all the shares and everything again subscribe keep coming keep sharing um, uh, there will be more videos, um, a little bit of news, what is happening right now. We finally finished the testing in, in, in Poland about the AG915. They're, they're ready, there's machines already coming to United States. So there's already kits coming to United States. Um, we're gonna move to Florida soon. Uh, the operations will be moved to Florida to avoid this kind of weather, kind of also. Uh, it will be better so if you want some training we're gonna be able to give you some uh, clinics for your technique if you're already a pilot call us if you want to improve if you want to fly these machines if you want to test the machines give us a call give us an email all the information is in www.airgyro.com uh, you will get all the information uh, about the new location about the new place.